Bardes, Alfa Studiam, Zurutsumen Kinoregisseur, Teda San, Yev Producer, Michael Gurjani Head. Hi, Michael. Hello. Thank Hi, thank Manishan. you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for dedicating your time and coming here to talk to us today. I would like to start with the beginning. Okay. Can you please tell us what was your path to success? Uh, success? Well, I'm still working on that. Uh, uh, I started out uh, acting. Well, I actually started as a dancer. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, unintentionally. Unintentionally. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I grew up in the Bay Area, in uh, San Francisco Bay Area, and um, I was doing theater as a kid and ended up getting into UCLA, the film school there, or the, sorry, the theater department there. And when I came down, um, there was an, I had an agent in San Francisco who said, okay, you're going to college, I'll give you one last audition before you, there's a, da uh, a movie down there called Newsies and they want dancers and you think you can dance? And I was like, yeah, sure, I, I could try. So I ended up coming to LA to go to uh, college and uh, audition for this Disney musical and I got the job. So that's how I started. <laughs> okay, that's a fascinating story. Yeah, yeah. But you're here today with uh, uh, Americazzi. Yes, yes. So uh, can you please tell us why is it a, such a special project? Uh, you wrote, you directed, and you also played the main character, Charlie, in it. Yeah. I can't wait personally to hear Thank what's you. the story behind Thank it. Thank you, yeah. Well, um, so yeah, I started as an actor um, and worked for many years and then started to write and direct um, mostly just because I, I found that I cared a lot about what I was in as an actor. Um, it was hard to be in projects that I wouldn't necessarily watch myself. So uh, I decided, yeah, I'll try to create things. Um, and eventually I got to a point where I think like all Armenians who are in the arts, they feel an obligation or a desire, I don't know, depending upon, <laughs> you know, family pressure maybe, but to do something related to my Armenian heritage. No pressure. Um, <laughs> I know, I know. No well, <laughs> Relatives sometimes. No. When are you going to make your Armenian film? Uh, so anyways, I, uh, I actually visited Armenia uh, for the first time in uh, 2006, and uh, I was quite moved being there um, by the land, by the people, and I thought, well, if I make something related to my Armenian heritage, I would really love to make something that I could shoot here in, in Armenia, in Hayastan. Um, both because I think, I mean, one, and, and this is what we did with the project, by, by making a film there, uh, I would be bringing money and production and experience and helping build the film industry there, I felt was important. Um, but also the artists there using Armenian actors and crew, I, I just seemed like the right thing to do. So uh, after 2006, for many years, I, I thought about different stories and different ideas. Um, you know, many of the Armenian films that have been done usually focus on the genocide, which is incredibly important, but you know, there's so much more to who we are. You know, there's so much more to our story and our culture. So, uh, Amerikatsi, the the script that I wrote, really came about uh, around 2018. Um, is when I started writing it, and there were a couple different influences. One, I had a story about a prisoner that I always wanted to tell, um, but the other was the revolution. Um, like many Armenians in the diaspora, I was watching what was going on there. Uh, and the whole idea of repatriation of Armenians going back to the homeland, I, I, I started researching that. And I learned about um, this one period after uh, World War II, when Stalin had invited Armenians in the diaspora to return. Uh, there was a lot of propaganda that went out and, and many Armenians did uh, make the journey back and it was, uh, it was a bit of a d disaster, uh, to say the least. Um, a lot way. of, yeah, a lot of hardship and, and it, for me, it, uh, it's an interesting period that I think not many Armenians know about or hasn't really been focused on much. Mm -hmm. I think part of it is this kind of a wound on a wound. We had the genocide and then this 
thing happened where all these Armenians really, you know, they went back and were sent to Siberia and it was very, the difficulties between Hayastan Stansi and, and the repatriates. Um, but it also was a perfect landscape for the story that I wanted to tell, which ultimately is um, about hope and about survival. Are you English? No, American. America at sea. I was actually born in Armenia. Might as well head back to the homeland and learn about my Armenian roots. Start over, you know? I find you good home. Really? Is this about the housing situation? Fellas, there's been a mistake. So Amerikatsi, even though it takes place in this period, it's actually a, a quite um, playful film um, in, in its style mm -hmm. and uh, definitely heartfelt, um, not just from me, but all of the people that worked on it, all of the artists um, really put a lot of, we, we all really put a lot into this, this project, so. And you said uh, that you started filming in 2020, uh, in you know the very difficult year for all of us. Yeah, I'm I didn't sure. plan it. I didn't plan oh, to it? shoot during a pandemic, but yeah. Uh, and you flew to Armenia in 2020, and then then what happened? There were some difficulties you were mentioning? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so we planned on starting, I mean, it I did about a year of uh, preparation. Um, I went in 2018 for some casting and location scouting, and then came back right at the end of uh, 2019, right, on, uh, right before New Year's Eve. And we had pre-production, and then we started shooting in March. And if you remember, that's kind of right when the pandemic hit. Uh, we were about maybe a week into shooting and we were told we're going to have to lock down. Um, one of the main actors in the film, his name is Hovik Kushkarian. He's, uh, you might know him from Money Heist. Mm -hmm. um, he was in the film and was in the country and uh, Spain was hit really bad at the beginning. And so he said, look, Michael, I... I I need to go back home. I have a, my mother is there. Um, so even though we only shot half of his scenes, he flew back. We had two actors from Moscow, um, uh, Nelly Uvarova and uh, Mikhail Trukyan that went back to Moscow. And then we were in lockdown um, <laughs> for months. Yeah. And slowly over time, I think I was there for a total of, I think, seven months. Um, we shot the film slowly in pieces. The government basically said, okay, you can shoot this portion because it only involves a few people. Now you can shoot this because it's outside. And eventually we got the actors back into the country and we were able to finish. But then I think a month after we finished, the war broke out in, in Artsakh, so. Such a difficult year. Yeah, it was. It was but you do everybody. say it's hopeful, hopeful, right? So without giving uh, out too much, was the most special about this? Well, I, you know, I had a, a good friend of mine tell me, um, he said, you know what your movie is about? It's about a prisoner who ends up being more free than the people outside the prison. Oh, wow. Um, it's about uh, surviving and, and finding a way to continue on despite the circumstances around you. And I think that's something that Armenians do very well. <laughs> and it's something that it's it's... It's the kind of message and thing that we can share with the rest of the world, not just the problems we're going through, but we have an incredible, incredible ability to keep going. And that is something we should be sharing, I think. I feel like it's almost in our DNA. Yeah. It's like you, you were, if, you, if you're lucky enough to be born Armenian, then it's just in your DNA to yeah. be able to survive and be hopeful and keep yeah. going. Yeah. 
Speaking of which, you were born in uh, the Bay Area, San Francisco area mm-hmm. in Oakland, right? Yeah. And uh, so what it was like to for an Armenian kid with Armenian last name um, that got to live in Oakland, and mm-hmm. there are not too many Armenians there, right? It's like the majority is here in Los Angeles. And you were born to an Armenian father and mm-hmm. a Scottish-American mother, right? Yeah. So what it was like? Well, yeah. Um, there are there are quite a few Armenians in the Bay Area, but um, like you said, my father was a sci- scientist. He worked for NASA. Um, his, my grandfather, uh, I think like many who survived the genocide, he really wanted his kids to become Americans. Um, and so growing up, I didn't really know many Armenians. Um, we didn't go to church. My dad was a scientist, so yeah. we didn't really <laughs> spend much time <laughs> that would in church. Explain it. Yeah. Which is really kind of where most Armenians in yes. the diaspora kind of, you know, get together. So it wasn't until I came to Los Angeles and started working as an actor uh, that I started to meet other Armenians and get more involved in Armenian culture. So. Previously, you mentioned that your grandparents were survivors of the Armenian genocide. And as you know, currently we are experiencing uh, um, the second Armenian genocide in Artsakh, where the um, genocidal uh, and uh, uh, dictatorial state of uh, Azerbaijan imposed illegal blockade on people of Artsakh. In your opinion, what could be done to save people and resolve the situation? Oh, well, I'm not a politician. I'm, I'm an artist, um, and, uh, but I am also a human being, and it's, it's very hard to see what's going on there. Um, I, I, all I know is, as an Armenian, the more we can do to let other people know what's going on, it's surprising how much, I mean, I know because I'm looking at Armenian news and talking to other Armenians, but uh, it's the rest of the world just is not aware. Um, and, and so I almost think uh, as an artist, what can I do just by bringing attention to our country, I think helps. Um, there's so many, we, we all don't have to do the same thing. There are activists out there doing wonderful work. Um, I'm friends with Serge Tonkian and I mean, you know, I applaud everything he does, but I'm, I'm different. What can I do? Um, I think I'll give you an example. Um, I had, uh, I, I met with a friend of mine who's an actress not too long ago um, to catch up. And I was telling her and her husband about Armenia and Artsakh came up and I told them a little bit about it. And she's uh, a She's an activist. She's very uh, politically um, humanitarian and does a lot. She wrote me that night and said, I, I'm embarrassed. I knew nothing about what was going on. I spent all night look, reading and learning about it. Um, thank you for, for sharing that. Even just that one small thing I think is important. Um, we just need to keep sharing and, and, and telling people about it. You mentioned that you were friends with uh, Serge Tankian, right? Uh, and in your lifetime, you had the opportunity to work with some pretty big names. Uh, Christian Bale, uh, Robert Downey Jr., Mel Gibson, Morgan Freeman, to name a few. So what was the most memorable encounter? Um, and uh, just tell us a little story. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, well, let's see. Uh, I, wo- I-, I worked once with uh, Robert De Niro, and um, we had a scene... A- it was uh, like I was playing his lawyer, and um, we did many, many takes all in a row. And um, I, I remember at one point they had to do a close up of his hand, like doing like something like this or something. And um, he, I, I remember him just talking with him, and he's like, "The more you don't do, the better it is." The more you don't act, <laughs> just do the thing and don't, you know. Yeah, just live so, in the yeah, moment, I remember right? that from him. Yeah. yeah. Um, just be, don't act. What is it called? <laughs> method acting? Yeah, you could call it that. Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. You won an Emmy. Uh, you have LA Weekly, Weekly Theater Award and also LA Critics' Choice, among many other awards. So, is Oscars come, coming oh. next? Or. Uh, <laughs> 
or, or you don't care uh, for the accolades? No, I do. Um, what I, at least for Americazzi, um, anything I can do to bring attention to our country, I mm -hmm. think is good. Um, and part of why we made this film the way we made it was to have it appeal to as many people as possible, mm -hmm. especially non-Armenians. So um, yes, I hope we win every single award possible because it's not just me, it's um, Ar Armenia. Mm -hmm. It's uh, all of the artists, artists in Armenia winning those awards and bringing attention to what we've done there. You know, the entire score was um, recorded by the National Philharmonic, mm -hmm. and we didn't even plan that. They, they basically volunteered to help because we wanted to make something that really showed what we have to offer. Mm -hmm. Armenia has so much to offer, even just in the parameters of filmmaking. Mm -hmm. What we made there is pretty extraordinary, not just for Armenia, but for uh, you know, many countries. So we want to show that off and, and let people know, look, this is what you can do in Armenia. I would love Absolutely. other filmmakers to see my film and go, hey, maybe I can make a film there. Maybe I could work with these people. Yeah, so. and I'm pretty sure it would be also very cost effective as well. So like yeah. for filmmakers, it's also a concern yeah. always. So I, I believe Armenia is the perfect choice for that. Yes, more film in Armenia, please. More film in <laughs> Armenia, yes. <laughs> I had a question about, um, it's, a, it's a last question. Okay, sure. <laughs> so the, I call this question uh, an evolution of a dream. Okay. So I would like to know, what did little um, Michael Grigian dream about when he was a ki little kid? Mm. What, what are you dreaming about now? And what do you think um, would be your dream in 10 years from now? Oh boy. Yeah it's, 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 uh, yeah. yeah, it's a lot of questions, but... Wow. The... I thought this was a news show. This, no. <laughs> are you a psychologist? Are you... <laughs> no, Jim can tell you what you yeah, know, absolutely. a lot about person, absolutely. right? Absolutely. Well, um, what did I dream about as a kid? I dreamt about, um, I think, about making films. I did. Oh. I did, yeah. I remember in grade school imagining, you know, making... Uh, I used to ride a dirt bike around and pretend I was in a movie. Like, you know, I don't know, uh, Steve McQueen in, in The Great Escape or something. Um, what do I dream about now? I dream about the success of uh, Marikatsi. Mm -hmm. I, I, um, I really, not just for me, but for so many reasons, I hope it does well and, and people see it. Um, in 10 years, I dream that I'm back in Hayastan making another film another and it, it'll be my third film there or something i'd love to make more films there oh it's such a wonderful dream it's such a uh, and i'm really glad to hear that your childhood dream came true <laughs> i do i do well, i have yet to write i think i've ridden a motorcycle in a film once but uh, there you go yeah. <laughs> there you go and the best part about it you also direct your movie so you can you know write it so many so many more times <laughs> i should start writing a script right now <laughs> right? Me on a motorcycle riding through, uh, I don't know, Dilijan or something. <laughs> or um, I really like Tatev. It's such a beautiful scene. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, my gosh. You, you should film. You, you, yes. Tatev is just my personal favorite. Okay. Okay. We'll do it. I was there this summer and it was just, oh, my God. Let me tell you. Uh, can I tell people about um, the release of Americana? Yes, See? of course. So we are premiering uh, on Wednesday, September 6th at the Alex Theater. Uh, tickets are still available, some, not many, uh, at Ticket Micket is where people can go, or our website, americazzi.film. That also has a list of all the cities that the film is going to be released in. Uh, it starts September uh, 8th in Los Angeles and New York, and then the next weekend it expands to, I think, 20 other cities in the U.S. Um, so please go to americazzi.film learn about the film, come support us. Um, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Michael, for, for t speaking with us today. Absolutely. Um, my guest was uh, Michael Gurdjian, a uh, filmmaker, actor, and director of Amerikatsi. Thank you very much, Michael. Absolutely. Thank you.